So this is technically a technology rant. <laughs> technically a technology rant. It's so funny. Um, but it's more like phone internet rant. Like that kind of situation. Like technology is fine. Like cameras and you know TV. <laughs> Let's try this again. Okay so I feel like this is something that really needs to be ranted about because it's just sad. Like let's just get into why i wanted to make this video other than the obvious reasons but one thing that like, stood out to me recently was there was like a commercial for i want to say it was like time warner cable or some some kind of cable company that does like phone cable internet the commercial showed like the whole family on different screens in one room so you guys can all spend time together watching different things like isn't the whole point of spending time together is actually spending time together not like sitting in the same room all doing something separate like i just didn't I didn't get it and it kind of upset me and when you just look at the commercial like it kind of makes sense the way I'm describing it but if you actually see the commercial like I don't know if you guys have seen this but if you do it's just very like cold and it felt very like this is really sad that this is happening and it really bummed me out a lot and so I thought you know maybe I'll just give this a little talk about because I've been ranting about everything else lately so why not this so I guess I'm gonna say this and I feel like a lot of people aren't gonna believe me like I hardly believe me but I could easily live without technology, not all technology, but like I could easily go back to like how it was in the 90s when I was growing up and be totally fine, even like early 2000s when like some people had cell phones because like it was important or like you had a cell phone just to like call someone when there's an emergency and stuff and like when GPS's first came out, that kind of thing. But like within the last five years or so, maybe a little bit more than that, um, probably since I was in high school, the texting and internet access on phones is what kind of is really scary to me I guess um, it's amazing like the things that you can do at the click of a button you know you have so much information like endless information and knowledge right at your fingertips in the palm of your hands 24 7 like while you're on the toilet while you're driving anything and that's dangerous like it's scary to me it's also amazing like the things that that the internet has done and like that technology has done for people and I mean I'm not trying to say I'm not grateful and I don't love the internet because obviously I do you know my job is the internet and so I'm really grateful for that and I appreciate it but I think at the same time are these positive things really worth or do they outweigh the negative things that come along with it? Um, I don't know. So that's what this rant is kind of about. Like, I mean, I appreciate so much the good things. You know, so many people have gotten married and, like, met their family through the internet on, like, dating sites. And I've met some of my closest friends via YouTube. And, I mean, it's great a lot of people feel related to and not alone. And I think that's great. And I love YouTube, obviously. And, you know, binge watching Netflix and all that stuff. But I just think because it's so easy now to do what we do on the internet, and it's so accessible and like easy to do, it causes problems. I mean, I see the, the anxiety I have from dating is very linked to internet dating and texting first. And you know, I've gotten so close to people just via text message and like internet and like phone and video chatting that when you meet them in person and it doesn't work that way, it's really disheartening and it can be so faked so easily. You know, there's this whole show based on a catfish. Like it's just scary that those kinds of things happen. I mean, there's so many other things I can get into about it, but it's just the fact that it's so dominant now is what makes it so scary because you can't, I think now, in this, at least in the last couple of years, you don't even have the choice. Like, when I was growing up, I would start using the computers, like there was a computer class. Like, I don't think when my parents grew up there was ever a computer class or anything. There was probably like, like a typing class on like a typewriter. And I mean, I remember I wrote my first couple of papers on typewriters when I was back in elementary school and stuff. So I think that that just, like the fact that we've grown so much in technology in just the last 10 years or so is I think what's scaring me because there's, it happens so fast and if you saw my 90s kid um, midlife crisis of a 90s kid or quarter life crisis of a 90s kid something like that it's a blog post I'll leave it below and then you kind of get where that came from I, I just think that we've grown so much and like advanced so much in the last just short 10 years when i was younger you could have the choice you know what i mean like when when you wanted a job not everyone needed to know exactly how to use the internet or a computer because there were so many other jobs that you could use that could do with that you know and even now there's so there's so few jobs left that you don't need to have any access to the internet like think about it like even my dad who's 65 years old needs to have an email address like i think that's a little bit crazy and he has to have access to the internet to like apply for jobs and like do like social security stuff like that's kind of scary you know like you don't even have that choice anymore like at one point we did at one point you could say okay no i'd rather do it by mail some bills and some companies don't even let you pay bills by mail anymore the fact that we can still get mail is a shock to me <laughs> like real actual mail because everything is so digital 
digitalized. Even just five short years ago, I feel like people had the option to do something in person. You could actually fill out a job application in person on a piece of paper and you can't even do that anymore. And I know, yes, there is still fewer jo like other jobs that you don't really need the internet. But, like think about all the ones that you like, you wouldn't think that you do. But the fact that you don't have the choice of whether or not to use the internet, like it's, it's sad, I think. And I think it cuts off so much from us living our lives. I mean, think about how much time you spend every day on the internet. Like, if you really added it up, if I had my phone measure how much time I use the internet throughout the day, and my computer, and Netflix, and everything, like, it's a lot of time. And it's one thing if you're like listening to music like in the background or things like that, because you could always have done that before. Think about at work how much less time you probably get things done because you're distracted by things. I mean, think about how many times you just check your phone for, you know, Snapchat updates or, you know, even like texting your friends. I mean, there's a lot of things that kind of pull away. Like you feel, sometimes I feel like I don't see friends as often as I would have if we didn't have such access. Think about how you can't unwind ever. Like, like when you have a few moments like on a train and you're taking a commute or like just a few moments, you're even going to the bathroom, anything, like how, how you check your phone rather than just sitting there and like using your mind and like thinking about things and processing the day and processing feelings like we're just on our phones. And I don't know if people also now, the meanness on the internet, like the cruelness of people and the heartlessness of them, is it because they're behind a screen and they don't have to face the actual emotions coming from people? But if that's what it is, then isn't that kind of scary? Like, I think like people have gotten so much meaner because how many times people do you actually even have to interact with? Like, I could, like, I don't even have to interact with people to work every day. And that's what's so scary about it. Like, you, you can hide behind a screen and there's so much less personalness to it. I know that there is a lot of ways to be personal and on the internet and things like that. Like I'm completely aware of that and I'm not trying to say the internet is a bad thing, but I am trying to point out the bad things about it. I mean, I would be so happy, and I know this sounds bad and a lot of people probably would not agree, but I would be happy if, you know, all the internet just went down. You know, if, if for some reason, you know, internet just stopped working and we were cut off. And I know that would lose a lot of jobs and I know I, I'm aware of that and like I'm not thinking of those parts of the things. I wish kind of that that's how things really were because it's sad how much time you think that you spend doing stuff on your phone. Like just like the t five minutes here and five minutes there checking Snapchat, Instagram updates and stuff. Like by the time you're done with one app, you go back to the other one and there's already new stuff. There's just so much stuff you can't even keep up. Like, I mean, I'll go and go through my Snapchat stories to look through, which you have to watch everyone's now, which is so annoying. But like, I'll go through and look and then go on Instagram and check. And by the time I'm done with that, there's a whole other thing to look at on the other app that I was already done with. And it's like kind of very scary and weird that we need to check in with everyone and like know what's going on and know the newest news. And like, sometimes I read like the Cosmo and the Buzzfeed things on Snapchat. And I'm thinking, why am I wasting my time? Like, I think it's gonna take me 20 minutes to read through all these articles. And I don't even care, like, what did my life, what, did, what changed in my life after reading this? Absolutely nothing. It's not like an important news story. Yeah, maybe it's 22 things that make you feel more related to or something. But is it really like, why am I doing that? What could, else could I be doing with those 20 minutes? Like, I play Trivia Crack and like Words with Friends and this cross crossword puzzle game on my phone every single night. And like, as much as I enjoy that time and I feel like it does help me unwind and stuff, like at the same time, I'm like, why am I doing this? I could go to bed a half an hour earlier and get half an hour more sleep. I could be doing anything else with this time than being on my phone. Like none of these things are really altering my life in a positive way. Like I would go be going to bed so much earlier if I didn't be like, oh, I could do this, or I could go on Pinterest, or I could, you know, watch another YouTube video, or I could text someone all night long. And like before when dating was still a thing, like via texting when I was younger, and it was like texting not unlimited how we have now, I feel like I didn't even do that. Like, you know what I mean? Like I wouldn't text someone up until like one o'clock in the morning, which I was still wouldn't do now because that's way too late for me. But you know what I mean? Like, I just feel like there's so much stuff on the internet and it's scary how much stuff there is. Also, like I mentioned earlier, like the online dating and stuff, like, yeah, maybe online dating is great and people have met really amazing people and stuff like that, but is online dating in addition to organically dating or is it replacing it? I don't know, like, it's kind of scary to me. And I feel like this was super unorganized, but my battery's about to die, so I kind of have to go. But um, read my other blog post that kind of goes along with this, especially about people for our age, like millennial age, like teenagers into early 20s right now, like how we deal with this because of the ages that we were when this was all happening, all this internet and technology, like it really affect us, affected us. And like, I don't know if it was a positive effect and I don't think it was, to be completely honest. And if I could go back to the 90s right now, I would 100% because I just think it's better and happier. And I think that right now, if I had that choice to cut out internet, I would be happier not wearing my Instagram likes and things like that. Like, yeah, there's those things are enjoyable to me just because that's what I'm 
like almost conditioned to enjoy it's what we're all conditioned to enjoy but if we weren't I feel like we would probably be happier like I probably would have been dating someone by now if I wasn't so anxious from having to meet someone because I'm meeting them via the internet and like I'm not like I know that I yes I have the choice to go out and meet people in person but I just feel like it's so normal to do everything online now that you don't have to see people as often and it's just I keep repeating myself I just don't really know how else to explain this and there's a B so I'm really gonna go but I really hope you enjoyed this video um, please give it a thumbs up if you did if you want more rants or a more elaborate rant on this or you know an iPhone rant or internet rant or anything then let me know in a comment please make sure you let me know if you like my rants you want me to keep doing them because before you like them and I'm doing a lot now and I don't know if you still like them but thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video bye <laughs> God, it's a really, really fuzzy fly. Oh my god. In the last, I can hear B. We should go. Okay. Or what it is. Oh, another bug.